good versus evil, light against darkness, truth against lies. I'm talking about the war in your head. That person that's holding you back, that person that's bringing you down, that person is you. Are you gonna say you wanna wanna do something? Do it for two weeks and then quit? Like you did last year, like you did the year before last? You say you wanna lose weight, get in shape, get your business off the ground, and then turn around and party, get lit, drink alcohol, eat like crap, and continue to live below who you were created to be? No, no, make a declaration to yourself. Declare all out war that you're going to get out of this rut. Decide today that you will no longer tolerate losing. You are going to be a winner. Be the hero of your own movie. If your life was a movie and it started now, what would the hero of your life's movie do right now? Do that. Do those things. Write down your goals. Write down things you want to improve. Write down things you won't tolerate from yourself. Write down things you've done in the past you never want to see yourself do again. And go forth from here as the hero of your own movie. Every day is a new day, a new week, a new shot at life. An opportunity to come out of the gate like a man possessed and attack the day without mercy. Today, I'm taking scalps. I'm putting the pressure on. I am the aggressor. I am on the attack. Because I will not stop. If you can't stick to something for five fucking days, you deserve to have a shitty life. You deserve to get your ass kicked. You deserve to be miserable. We're not talking about 50 years. We're not talking about the five years it probably takes to build something worthwhile. We're not talking about the five months it could take for you to lose 100 pounds. We're talking about five fucking days. And you can't even stick to it for that. So what the f do you think you deserve? You deserve exactly what you get. Think about all the people that say, man, one day if I have this, I'm gonna do this. What do you mean if you have this? Why don't you go out and make it fucking happen? The comfort zone is dangerous. When you're comfortable, you are at most dangerous. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. But anybody ever tell you, hey, look, you know what? Just be satisfied with what you got. Don't believe them. Get them away from you. Never be satisfied with what you got. Because the attempt to get more makes you into something better. All the time. You should double your business. Triple it. I don't negotiate with myself. I don't go, oh, wait, I'm not ready, or let me count to 10, or maybe I'll do it tomorrow. There's none of that shit with me. I say, we do. I'm not here to discuss this shit with my mind. And when I say jump, you fucking jump. Because when you get your blood pushing, when you push beyond what's comfortable, it develops this determination inside you, this sense of will. And when you do that regularly, you're gonna have a different world. You have to learn to do when you don't want to do. Learn to bring that savage mentality out of yourself. The animalistic mother. You think a savage gives a f about how he feels or how she feels? They just do it. Learn to be your best self when you're least motivated. Stop looking for a feeling to control what goes on in your life. What do you do about the negative guy that's trying to bring you down? It's quite simple. Ignore and outwork every last one of them. You see, while you're over there watching me and talking about me, I'm working. I'm working hard. I'm taking things to the next level. You keep gossiping and I'll keep working. You keep talking smack and I'll keep working. You keep focusing on everything and everyone else and I'll keep working. And when you finally look around at where you are and where I'm at, you realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about. You will lose and I will win. The best revenge is massive success. I'll show you. You want to kill your haters? You want to shut them down? You want to kill the noise? Listen to me, nothing succeeds like success. Who cares what they say? Dominance. Who cares what they think? Dominance. When you decide acting in your best interest, you're going to lose some friends. Everybody's not going to approve of you. There's some people that won't like you. Who do you think you are? You're arrogant. What do you think you can do? You're selfish. 
when you hang around average people, all they're going to do is tell you what they can't do. And that's okay that they can't do it, but that has absolutely nothing to do with us. We can do whatever we believe we can do, and we don't need anybody's permission to do it but ours. Stand up for your dream. Stand up for what you want in your life. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out. You've got to say, yes, I can make it. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I haven't exposed all my stuff yet. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes, yes. It's your dream. Nobody's gonna see it like you do it. It's your 